welcome back to another video. Today we're back with another match day vlog. Uh, this time it's Middlesbrough away. Um, Middlesbrough versus Swansea City in the Sky Bit Championship. This Saturday, 3 p.m. kickoff away at the Riverside Stadium. Um, yeah, it's currently well. It's just gone half four in the morning, so you know, uh, ridiculously early. But um, you know, it's got to be done for the away days. Um, yeah, it'll be um, uh, me and Luke will both be going today. Um, so yeah, I'll catch up to you when I'm, um, when we get to the ground and see what Luke and the boys think ahead of the game. Right, Luke, what is your opinion on um, us only taking 14 fans on this coach? Like, in, in fairness, I'm not surprised. Just obviously, if you don't wear me out in the league, you don't have nothing to play for. Um, so yeah, it's not the best. I'm, I'm sure there's probably another coach, a private coach, that we normally take, and there might be some fans on there, but yeah, it's not great. Obviously, it's a longer trip. The driver said apparently I'm taking seven hours to get there, because apparently they're going to motivate the club, just about, which it doesn't look like to be honest, so we should be here within about six hours at least. But, yeah, 40 fans on the coach, no atmosphere. There's definitely much atmosphere on the ground. Uh, I'm guessing we'll probably have to start chance as well. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. But I've uh, uh, just gone past, I think we've gone past Mark or someone who just knows it's going quite well to the But yeah, so I've seen far this trip. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine many people will be going up by car or train. So uh, let's hope it's more than just the 14 of us. Right, so Luke has got a uh, English breakfast in um, mm -hmm. the services from the. Uh, the good breakfast, that is literally what it's called. Um, so he's going to review the bacon and the sausage for, yeah, uh, for you now. Yeah. yeah, bacon's nice, it's not too chewy, nice and sweet. Proper spine, this one here for a long trip. Um, so I'll give the bacon a I'll give it an 8 out of 10, probably one of the nicer ones I've had. And then the sausage. Mm. Sausage, really nice, compliments all the sauce. Good addition to the breakfast. Um, overall, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Right, KFC, my turn now. Trilogy box, I'm going to review it again. I think it's just left this on the air today, it's pretty basic. But... Right, so we've got the team lined up. It's Carl Rushworth, Josh Key, Jay Fulton, Harry Darling, Matt Grimes, Jerry H. Jamalo, Jamie Parson, Josh Tyman, Nathan Wood and Ronald on the bench, Andy Fisher, Ben Cabango, Charlie Bettino, Liam Callan, Liam Walsh, Ollie Cooper, Rashia Humphreys, Aymar Govea and uh, Azim Abdullah. Right, Well, we can't score, you know, 
the V8 is an absolute pounder, like the smoothest touch, except it's just not nothing to unlock for her. Um, so she's just using all slots, to be fair, you know, nothing's really different. Um, you know, we've got an opportunity for this, and it's just, it's just so bad. But, honestly, I, I don't know where we go from here, I don't. I, you know, I don't know if, I don't know how we'll get better in the second half, I just don't see it happening. But what, obviously, um, Josh Tyrone will have been, he's one of our boys, he's one of, probably one of our better players this season. Definitely one of our better signings, but obviously he's one of our favourites, and I would never match all that. Even though I've played this team, but he's decent, he's come on. But yeah, it always been like a terrible game for both sides, really. Yeah, it's the same shit all the time. I mean, you know, we, we tried to disguise in the earlier performances by that win against Cardiff and we've just gone back to how we were before. And, you know, it happens every bloody year. Like, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's all well and good showing up against Cardiff and, you know, don't get me wrong, it's a game you, you do want to win more than any other game, but it's simply not good enough. You, know, you can't just live off wins against your rivals and then, you know, shy away for the rest of the season. It happens time and time again. Every season we show up for Cardiff. Uh, and then the rest of the season, the players are just like fucking muppets. So, you know, it, we need to sort it out. It's, it's, it's not good enough showing up for one or two games this season. And that's it, you know, we, we need to be showing up every week, especially when fans are travelling, um, you know, the distances that we have to travel. Uh, but yeah, hopefully more in the second half. Swans are sitting there, what are your thoughts on that though? Shocking performance, worse than QPR, no doubt about it. I, I know it's kind of sounds a bit too far, but I'd argue say it's worse than the Cardiff game. Yeah, yeah okay, but Cardiff was a driver game, obviously there's more to it, but in terms of performance, that was, was crap, it was, it was shocking. You know, it's the fact that we, you know, we did actually have some sort of chances, but our players just didn't take them, it was either over the bar or wide, and it was just awful. You know, fair play to Borough, they did deserve to win, and to be fair, their fans were really good, but... It was absolutely shocking, it was fucking crap. Um, you know, just get me um six and a half hour journey home now, which is lovely. I'll probably be kipping for most of that, but <sighs> definitely one of the worst forms of the season, no doubt about it. Um obviously next away game I'm going to have a shield. Um, I think you, you will be missing that if you don't already. You know, so I'm not looking forward to that either, we'll probably some I'll lose. Yeah, we should say in the pub, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we should have. Um but yeah, it was absolutely shocking but um Fair play to Borough, their fans are class and they deserve the three points, so congratulations. Yeah, um, no fight once again. Um, you know, every time, you know, the players and the manager do, you know, interviews, they say, oh, we keep working, we keep working. And, you know, the fact is it just gets worse every week. And what I said at half time, you know, I'm going to say again, you, you can't just live up one or two good performances. In this season's case, only one good performance. Obviously, we didn't do the double against Cardiff this season, but. Um, yeah, you can't just live off one or two good performances and then, you know, shy away for the rest of the season. So, yeah, awful once again. But, um, yeah, once again, a massive thanks for watching this. And we'll be back on Tuesday night for a match preview ahead of Stoke at home. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.